Hi, have you been wondering how to solve this in a, in seconds, in seconds, okay? You have gone to the right place. Let's do it together. We are asked um, to solve for 64 multiplied by 5. The only logic here is that 5 is same thing as 10 divided by 2, right? And multiplication by 10 is very easy. For example, if you want to multiply 5 by 10, just add 0 in front of it. If you want to multiply, say, 20 by 10, just add 0 in front of it. 16 by 10, add 0 in front of 16. So actually, multiplying by 10 is very easy, and that is the logic we are going to use here, okay? So if you are asked to multiply 64 by 5, you can use this method for three, three digits number, four digits number, any digits number, but I'm going to use mostly two and highest maybe three to just make the video not to be too long, okay? Now for this one, 64 multiplied by five is sent in as 64 times 10 over what, two? Now what is 64 times 10? 640, right? Just add zero in front of 64. Then divide by two. Note, you are still going to do for 25 and for one, two, five. This is just for five, all right? So when you divide this by two, when two divide six, you have three. When two divide four, you have two. When two divide zero, you have zero. So this simply means that 64 multiplied by five is 320. So let's write that. You can also press your calculator to confirm what I just did. Okay, now 26 multiplied by 5, the same thing. It's going to be 26 multiplied by 10 divided by 2, right? So it's going to be 2, we divide this to give us 1, divide 6 to give us 3, divide this to give us 0. So the solution is going to be 130, okay? Now, can you pause the video and try to get this by yourself, okay? So we got 130 here, right? Just try to get this yourself, Okay, now let's do it together. This is simply 480 divided by 5. Sorry, divided by 2. <laughs> 480 divided by 2. Now, when 2 divides 4, you have 2. When you divide 8, you have 4. When you divide 0, you have 0. So it means that the solution is 240. Okay, so we have 240 here. I'm going to leave this last one for you to do for me. And drop the comments in the comment section. Now let's go ahead and do a uh, multiplication by 25. So by 25 is going to be we have um 24 times 25. Like I said, you can use any number of digits you want. Okay, 32 times 25, 230. Let me bring in three digit numbers times 25. For 25, okay, 25 is the same thing as 100 divided by 4. Hope you know that. Yes. So we are going to apply this logic here. 24 multiplied by 25 is the same thing as 24 multiplied by 100 over 4, right? Now, 24 multiplied by 100 is what? Just write your 24, add two zeros in front of it and divide by 4. Now, when 4 divide 24, you have 6. Divide this, you have 0, 0. So it means that 24 when multiplied by 25 is just 600. As easy as that, right? It's very easy. Now, for this one, it's going to be 3, 2 multiplied by 100, okay? Divided by what? 4. Now, when 4 divides 32, you have 8. Divide this, you have 0. Divide this, you have 0. So it means that the solution is what? 800 so we have 800 here now like i said you can use three digit number it can be even it can be odd the same method applies all right so this 233 can be written as 233 if you multiply it by 100 just add two zeros in front of the 233 then you divide by four now when four divides 23 we have five five remainder words three if we divide 33, we will have 7, 7, sorry, we have 8, 8 remainder, 1. If we divide 10, we have 1, um, 2, 2 remainder, 2. If we divide 20, we have 5. So it means that the solution to 233 3 multiplied by 25 is 5, 8, 2, 5. You can press your words, your calculator. Okay, now let's get to multiplication by 1, 2, 5. Don't go anywhere because I believe you are enjoying this. And for that, please give me a 
just subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this channel okay so we have 24 multiplied by 125 126 multiplied by 125 48 multiplied by 125 don't uh, for the fact that these are even doesn't mean you cannot use odds okay when i was selecting this i did not even consider the odd one but using the odd or you can use odd here instead of um 48 let's use 43 okay 43 multiplied by 125 now let's solve it now 125 is the same thing as 1000 divided by what divided by 8 the same thing as 1000 divided by 8. So if you are asked to solve 24 multiplied by 125, all you need to do is, this is same thing as 24 multiplied by 1000 divided by 8. Now 24 multiplied by 1000 is just 24. You add what? Three zeros in front of the 24. Then you divide by 8. When 8 divides 24, you have 3, right? So you have three. Every other thing is what? Zero, zero, zero. Therefore, 24 multiplied by 125 is 3,000. Okay. That is it for this. So we have 3,000 here. Now for the second one, 126 multiplied by 125. So it's going to be 126 multiplied by 1,000, right? That is 1, 2, 3 divided by 8. Now let's solve. When 8 divides 12, you will have one, one remainder, four. When it divides 46, you will have five, five, remainder, six. If you divide 60, you'll have seven, seven, remainder, four, right? If you divide 40, you'll have um, five, divide zero, you'll have zero. So that implies that one, two, six multiplied by one, two, five is one, 15,000, 750. So 15,750. 15,750. So I would like you to solve this for me and drop it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.